What is going on guys? Samurai Solo and I am back with EA Sports UFC 3. Again, some fight team with Kamaru Usman, the champ. And we are facing Tyron Woodley here. I tried to go for that push. I was going to look for him. I'm looking to grapple with Usman. But he interrupted me with some punches. And Usman, um, his stand-up is not the worst, but it's not great either. Like, style-wise, he's okay, but he can't throw a lot of certain combos, and he feels a little sluggish and slow. We got that takedown there off that slip straight. So, but this is where he shines right here. Grinding people out, getting on top of them, beating them up. This is what we want to do. Good job grabbing that, man. Some of these guys' games are on point on that. Oh, wow, and he got that. It's okay, good reversal by him. Let's be patient here, see what we can do. See what he does. Sure, he's going to fake in a posture up. No, he didn't posture up. Oh, no, he really transitioned. I didn't think he was. Okay, good job. Take our time to sprawl out. There it is. Let's try to quickly get up. There we go. Perfect. Get our stamina up. Oh, little fake there into the single collar. Let's go right back to that over-under. I want to drop some more knees. Oh, I couldn't block him there. Man, I should have blocked that. Block that, and now let's drop more knees. Let's let's damage that body. This is this is Kamaru's kind of fight right here. Grinding in the clinch. He's ready for my over-under there. He gets the tie clinch. And now he's going down. Yep. That momentum transition, guys. If someone gets you in the tie clinch and you have the leg grab, as soon as you break that tie clinch, do the leg grab. It's almost an instant takedown. See if we can't block this. We block him. He's trying to sit right back up. Nope, you're not going to get that. There we go. And now, let's go to stack guard. Get our stamina up. There we go. Now let's drop some ground and pound. This guy's being very patient here. I'm going to drop some body punches because we were dropping those knees to the body in the over-under position. Let's wear him down. This is what we want. We're in this. It's a marathon for us, not a sprint. We're not trying to just smash him here in the first round. If we do, great, but we're going to wear him out, grind him out, just like Kamaru does to, to the people he faces. Block that. Yeah, he is being way too passive here, and he's going to his, his body's already compromised now. We're getting compromised. Look at his stamina. And he's still not uh, sprawling out. And he tries to fake, but we're not having that. Not much time left. Let's go for this arm triangle, see if we can't get it. I doubt it's not enough time anyway. And I went the wrong way. <laughs> I could have at least done the first stage. Man, good job catching me again. All right, but that was a great first round for us. We controlled him really well. Dropped some nice ground and pound. Yeah, well, he needs to be a little more uh, not so passive in that stack guard position. He let me drop a lot of punches to his body. And we're going to stand a little bit and look to try to take him back down when we get a chance. See the nice little stamina advantage we have. There we go. We got the clinch. Man, he saw that tie clinch. I had been going over under. I thought he would block my over under, so I faked it. But we block him back. Now we have the tie. Block that. Oh, we got him hurt to the body. There it is. Good job. He was ready for that one. Oh, I was about to drive take down him to the fence there. I got hit. Oh, oh, there he goes. He's the app. We threw a four piece there and got him down. Yeah, that's the thing with Kamaru. His stand up feels a little slow, a little sluggish. He's powerful, though. He is powerful, but his footwork and speed, yeah, it doesn't feel the best on the on the stand up. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing here. Grind. Yeah, he needs to do something here. Just going to take our time. Oh, yep, he's had enough. <laughs> yeah, we were giving him that, that Kamaru Usman classic style, you know. Beat you up in the clinch, take you down, control you, beat you up some more, grind you out. We had a nice stamina advantage. We had already dropped him. We hurt him to the body. See the stats here. We controlled him for 2 minutes and 41 seconds in that first round. And then round two, we dropped him, and then we were doing good on the feet until that happened, until he quit. But first fight down, guys. Be back with another. All right, we are facing Donald Cerrone. So with Cerrone, we have to be very careful because he's deadly on the feet. Oh, sorry about the glove touch, man. 
and but on the ground he's very deadly especially off his back and Cerrone also has like a two-stage triangle choke you have to be very careful of that it's very deadly and it's very fast so when I take him down here I need to be very careful got to be on my P's and Q's let's see if let's see uh, how this goes on the ground here yeah I didn't think he would sprawl out but I was too, still too slow on that one got to be really quick yep trying to get that full guard See if we can't block him. And that's the thing. Cerrone is an offensive beast on the ground and on his feet. He has so many great perks, but his chin is a little shaky, and that body health is only an 80. So those are the things to remember when facing Cerrone. We got that crucifix. Oh, yeah, we block him perfect. He would have gotten that. I went the wrong way. He faked it. Oh, he's in trouble now. Whoa, I don't know how we got that one. I went that way. Huh. Now we block that, though. Now we're getting some nice ground and pound here. We're beating up that blocking head. He's ready for me this time. Oh, he's really ready for me. I, I, I did that. I know better than that. When one transition gets blocked, don't do another immediately, and I did it. I should know better than that. He's going to go. He's going to go to full guard because my stamina is low. Yep, I knew that. He wants that triangle. I know what he wants. He wants to get that triangle on me. Oh, he does a little fake there. Got to watch out for this triangle. He's going to go for it. Dang it. Now he really is. Here we go, guys. So we can't block it. Ah, here it comes. We're out. We're out. Yeah, when he blocked my stack guard, I, I panicked a little bit there. I should have because, you know, he had that grapple advantage after that stack guard. I went that way, but I was a little slow. It doesn't feel laggy or anything. He's dropping that little fake. I got to keep that in mind. Up oh, and each straight goes for it again. I wasn't expecting him to do it that quick. Did we, no, we didn't block it. We're out. We're out again. Okay. He's going to go full guard. I'm going to block him here. Oh, couldn't get back. I'm going to try to watch. Yep. Keep our stamina high. Now let's go ahead and take his back. Hmm, couldn't get a punch off where he could turn. Ah, good job. I gotta gotta be more patient on the ground here. Not much time left, so. You know what? I might change my tactics in round two here because I'm so worried I'm going to get caught in that triangle because I feel good on the ground here, but i just worried I'm going to make a mistake and I'm going to get caught with my stamina low and get caught in that submission. So we'll see what we can do on the stand-up tip. I think I'm going to pressure him really hard this round, really bring the fight to him on the feet, go a little wild, and see how he, how he responds. Because Cerrone, you don't want to give him a ton of space because he'll throw those kicks at you all day. He has the butcher perk. He has the headhunter perk. But you have to watch out. His body knee is a level five. But that chin's a little weak. See, there's a body kick there. And Usman can't throw a lead leg kick into a straight right. He doesn't have those combos. Got to keep it pretty basic with him. But let's put that pressure on him. Nice jab hook by him. Man, I really wish he could throw a straight right from that position. It's annoying that he can't. I'm sure he's not expecting me to do this either. He's probably expecting me to take him down. Might be throwing him off a little bit. But he's doing pretty good. Catch me with that hook. Jab, hook, jab, hook. I got to duck under that. And of course, of course, when I finally when I finally start to duck the duck, he throws the uppercut. He's been going jab, hook, jab, hook, and he throws an uppercut. <laughs> Always to be, man. It's funny. It's got to be careful throwing those kicks from such a close range because, man, if I crack them and time them here. There we go. Slip over, straight right, left hook. There's that, there's that body knee. That's a level five body knee. Yeah, I had picked Usman playing the grapple, but we're doing pretty good here, so. Nice move by him there. Wow, that body kick really missed.
Yeah, that head health is getting dwindled a little bit. Oh, I forgot Cerrone has that combo. There we go. Slip over again on him. Straight right, left hook. Catch him with that straight right as he pulled back. Glad I put my block up as I got out of that duck there. Cerrone, I think, has Headhunter level 3. Heavy hands like level 4. He has the Butcher perk or whatever the perk is for body kicks. I forget what level. Probably 3 at least. So, like, man. There we go. Rock him again. He's a survivor. I know I'm throwing a ton of strikes here, but it's working. You know, if we're winning the fight, and we are, we've rocked him twice this round. And we're hanging with Donald Cerrone on the feet with Usman. You know, we're doing well. Now, if I was getting overwhelmed here, just losing this fight, I would definitely look to take him down. But now i got to be careful if I do take him down, which I don't plan to, really. My stamina's a bit lower. Easier to get that submission on me, especially if he blocks something of me. And goes for that triangle. Oh, nice takedown. That might be his plan to do in round three. So now, and he shouldn't have done that because now he's giving it away. Yeah, see, I threw 107 strikes a lot, but only threw 37 six strikes. So I didn't throw anything crazy. Pretty simple strikes. And even though I threw a ton of strikes, I didn't throw anything crazy. And we got two rocks out of it and damaged his head health pretty decently. So that's fine. This is two rounds of the books for us. He's going to need a finish. I'm going to keep bringing the fight to him. I'm not going to play defense. I'm going to come at him the same way as I did in that second round. We're going to keep it on the feet, I think. There we go. Man, too bad he got hits done there. That final left hook would have landed. There we go. That left hook went around the guard. And you see our stamina. It's not too bad considering how many strikes we threw. Because we didn't throw anything crazy and we didn't miss a lot. They all hit the block at the very least. That doesn't count as a landed strike, but as long as it... Like I always say that. I say that every video. As long as it hits. I don't want to be throwing 20 overhands and head kicks and body kicks and whiffing on all of them. That's what kills the stamina a lot. He's starting to work my... See, his head health is pretty low. Man, another left hook. That straight right left hook has been money for me. Oh, he timed me. Man, I'm lucky I didn't get dropped there. Ooh, he timed me well there. Good job. We're okay. Man, I went for that. <laughs> not only did I get hit with the head kick that rocked me, I then got hit with the follow-up punch. I'm lucky that was not a drop off that punch. There we go. He, go. he throws that body kick from too close a range. That's why we're pressuring. Nice head movement by him. Yeah, I got to watch my stamina here. I just got to be careful. We're okay. It's only it's the last round. It's not a five-round fight. I, I probably should have, like I said, this was my plan, though, to throw a bunch of crazy strikes and never bring the pressure on them. Kind of surprise them. Turn up the heat. Other than that, Rocket's been working for us. We're doing good. Oh, nice movement by him. His stamina is not too hot either, but it looks like he has a little bit more than us. But there's only a minute and a half left. I might clinch him here. Nope. If I can get him towards the fence. There we go. Let's beat up his body here. I'm going to throw body knees. Up. Oh, good job. You got that. I went, to, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way again. Gotta watch my stamina here, though. Let me let it recharge a little bit. Breaks off. That's fine. Not much time left. Ooh, my stamina, though, man. I've been throwing a lot of strikes, haven't I? But we got to win here. Take him down. There we go. That's going to be the fight. And this was a hard-fought fight. This guy did pretty decent. I felt like I had a fight kind of aggressive on the feet like that just to try to take away some of those kicks. He still landed a decent amount of them, but not enough. And we got to rock off one of those kicks in that third round. He tried to throw a body kick from too close to range. 
Because if I would have just hung back and tried to be technical with Usman against Cerrone, Usman to me is a little too slow. He doesn't have the move set. I think I would have just got picked apart. I had to kind of step in at him and just throw. I mean, I could have gone back to the ground with him, but like I said, I was just nervous that I was going to get caught in that triangle, especially once. And then once I started through a, oh, through over 100 strikes, my stamina got a little lower. That makes it more susceptible to get caught in subs. Let's see what they say. 30-27 across the board. Yep, that's us. That was a good fight. I couldn't believe I couldn't drop Cerrone though once. I rocked him a few times, but couldn't get that drop on him. See the stats there. First round was all grappling pretty much for the most part. Second round we threw 107. Rocked him twice. And then the third round, we also threw over. We threw 104 strikes. Another lot, but it, yeah, we still did pretty. We did pretty good, though. I'm happy with what we did. I don't know how we got two rocks on me, though. Maybe the punch and the head kick counted as separate rocks. But either way, that's it. Move on. Let's get one more in. Be right back. All right, guys. Final fight here. We're facing GSP. GSP does have a little bit of a shaky chin. I'm going to try to fight the Kamara way. We're going to look to try to clinch him, take him down. GSP's great, but he's not the threat off his back like Cerrone is. Oh, nice. We duck under that. Land our hook. Oh, there we go. Uppercut. Let's let's clinch him. There we go. Put some body knees on him here. Oh, he goes. That's fine. Got that tie clinch now. He better start blocking these body knees. They're gonna he's gonna get hurt. Yep. You gotta block those men. Oh, and he's down. Yeah, all you gotta do is block those men. Man, Kamaru is so good on top game though. I mean, like you can feel it. You can block transitions a little quicker. There we go. We blocked that one. You just want to be careful when you're facing someone like Donald Cerrone, the, you know, Diaz bros who are dangerous off their back if you decide to grapple. This is it. He's done. Woo, got that one done quick, guys. Yeah, it's fun using Camaro, man, but you do have to grapple with him. You can do a mixture of striking and grappling depending on your opponent and all that, but it's better to work the grappling game. He's so good there. He has the ground and pound perk. I forget what level. He has wrestling boost perk that give, uh, gives us takedowns even more, which I don't even know what they already are to begin with. They're already high. This top control is just fantastic. Just don't get put on your back and, you know, get fights to the ground if you're facing someone like the Diaz bros, but then that can be dangerous too because of their submission game. So just be careful of that. But that's Kamaru Usman, guys. I'm going to stop right here. Do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Have a great day. Peace.